the Doncaster Shield is next in. This is a two mile three furlong 0 to 90 handicap. And the top one is Obi Wan for Derek Hinton. Moonshell Valoris for Graham Clutterbuck. Tell Leslie Carla Raganto. Funky Music Martin Leadham. Gold Lonesome Derek Hinton. Tamino Obi Wan. Force 10 Kevin Meenahan. Point of Interest Alex Cherry. Candy Floss Kevin Meenahan. Dieppe. James Follis. Two for Darren Howes. A Frosty Geronimo and a Frosty Valuga. And Capdor Silver for Doug Warren is the bottom one of the 13. So. Two more, three furlongs this one then. Strange distance. I think we've got one even longer this week. They're away and racing. And Funky Music was out quickly. So too was Obi Wan. But they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so. And expect the usual front runners to go to the four. Dieppe's pulling for its head. And Gold Lonesome, the Derek Hinton horse on the outside. Capdoor Silver for Doug Warren's up there. And those three are going to be the three that are going to be the pacemaker. So those three have gone on then. They're a good four or five lengths clear of the remainder. We're headed by Funky Music in the green jacket. Then comes. Obi Wan, the second of the Derek Hinton horses. Candy Floss is next. Tamino in the yellow jacket on that one's outside. Carl Arigante's Tell Leslie is on the near side. It's one of Carl's rare hold up horses. And Darren Howells' horses are normally out the back. Early on in a race, Frosty Geronimo and Frosty Valuga are at the back. And he normally does well in these, this great race, though, so watch out for those two later on. Also, Kevin Mina had in the green clothes with the orange jacket was one in these type of races as well. In fact, I don't know what I'm waffling about because most of the people in these races do well in these type of races because they can't do well in any of the other type of races because they're not as good as the top ones. But anyway, I'm waffling this last week of the season. Sorry about that. Anyway, Dieppe's in front. Crom capped all silver in second. Gold Lonesome is third. Gap back to OB1 fourth. And Funky Music fifth. Tamina is. After that one, and Moonshell Valoris, Candy Floss and Point of Interest. Frosty Geronimo is going a little bit better than Frosty Valuga at the moment. And Tell Leslie Force 10 and the aforementioned Frosty Valuga are the back three. So Dieppe's in front then. In the blue jacket of Formula One Follis. Gold Lonesome on the outside, Capital Silver on the inside. Gap then of five lengths to the Pink jacketed Obi Wan. Dark green of funky music on the inside of that one. And the yellow of Tamina after that one, and then Graham Clutterbuck's Welsh flag colours of Moonshell Valoris. Candy Floss for Kevin Meenahan in the green and orange. And Alex Cherry in those colours that everybody likes so much. Scottish flag colours, I think, a little bit. Of, I don't know what the orange bit's about, but I'm sure he probably tell us. And Till Leslie's next, Frosty Geronimo wide. Then Force 10 at the back of the main pack. And the one that's just a little bit detached at this moment is Frosty Valugas. So and they're already down to the final mile then. And racing downhill, Dieppe's the leader from Capdor Silver in second and Gold Lonesome in third. Funky Music is making a forward move in fourth. Then comes Obi Wan and Tamino and then Candy Floss and then Tell Leslie as they begin to race in earnest now. And Dieppe still just in front but only by a head. To Capdor Silver on his inside. Gold Lonesome on his outside. Funky Music is trapped in a little pocket there. Whether that's where the jockey wants to be or not, I'm not sure. Maybe trying to cover that horse up to see if it's going to stay this trip. It's normally racing around two miles, two mile one. I think he's ever been two mile three successfully before. And Dieppe's the leader from Funky Music second, who's now got clear running room. But it's still a long old way to go. Then comes Gold Lonesome, Capdor Silver, Obi Wan, Candy Floss, Till Leslie, Tamino, Force 10. There's plenty in with chances. We've got a little gap back into the back four, who might well be out of it, but they could still get into it. There's still three and a half furlongs to go. And Dieppe on the inside, Funky Music on the outside. Then comes Obi Wan and Gold Lonesome. Then Capdor Silver starts to beat a retreat. Here come the Mina Hand pair, Candy Floss and Force 10. But now Funky Music has gone for home, but there's still two and a half furlongs to go. And he's getting into unknown territory now. Funky Music being whipped and being pushed along. He's gone three or four lengths clear, but here comes Force 10. Force 10, still two furlongs to go. Funky Music is in the lead. He's four clear of Force 10. Here comes Moonshell Valoris on the outside, and Tamino as well. They come down towards the final furlong now, and it's still Funky Music, but he's about to be swamped, I think, by Moonshell Valoris, Tamino, and Force 10. Still Funky Music in front, racing towards the final half furlong. Funky Music is out on his knees. Funky Music still in the lead. Moonshell Valoris and Tamino begin to swoop. Funky Music. Music needs a line. Here comes Moonshovel Lois. Funky music. Moonshovel Lois. Moonshovel Lois. Funky music. Oh, it's close. It's close. Tamino is in there as well. I think Moonshovel Lois got up on the outside. Just that little bit too far for Funky music, I think. Ran out of 
Run out of room. And, oh, yeah, he's one easy thing. Moonshell Valoris. Funky music was only even third. So there it is then. Moonshell Valoris takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Tamino second. Funky music third. Didn't quite stay the trip, that one. And it's a win for Graham Clutterbuck. Moonshell Valoris, the winner. Tamino for Obi Wan was second. Funky music for Martin Lennon was third. Force 10, Kevin Meanhan fourth. And Till Leslie or Carl Aragante was fifth.